Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric and I'm going to show you how to use the undo feature in Maya. I'm just going to start doing some stuff. I'm going to create some objects, some polygon objects. I'm going to move them all to the side. Right now Maya is memorizing everything that I'm doing. That way if I want to undo anything, I can press down the control button on my keyboard and press the letter Z. Every time I press the letter Z, Maya will undo one of the actions that I've done. I can also go up to the edit menu and click on the undo option. So every time I do that, it continues to undo the actions that I've done. Now Maya will do that up to 50 times. That's the default setting. We can change that by going up to our window menu, go down to settings slash preferences, and then go over and click on preferences. A dialog box will appear, and if you look in the left-hand column over here, almost to the very bottom, you'll see undo. Click on undo, and now we have some options. We can turn the feature on, or we can turn it off. We can set it to infinite or to finite. If you put it on infinite, that means Maya is going to memorize every single thing you do from the time you open up Maya to the time you close out Maya. The problem with that is if you start doing a lot of stuff, you're going to end up filling up the memory so much that Maya could end up crashing on you. I prefer setting it to finite and then setting the queue size. Right now the default setting is 50. That means Maya will let you undo 50 times. You can change that higher or you can change it to a lower value. Now the lower the value is, the less memory Maya is potentially going to use up. And the less memory that Maya uses, the less chance that you're going to have Maya crash on you. And that concludes the tutorial for the undo feature in Maya. Thanks for watching.